YouTube, I am back and I'm finally going to show you the video where I installed the Arctic Alpine M1 cooler, the cooler that I bought months ago that took me months to even do the unboxing video and now I'm finally going to show you the install video. Um, so most of these other bits of the video I shot ages ago and I can't be asked to watch them so hopefully I'll get this all right. Um, so what you're going to need for this install is you're going to need some isopropyl, isopropyl or whatever it's called, the rubbing alcohol, 99% stuff. I um, mean, get it in a little handy spray bottle. That's what I use in this video. Can't find it, so don't know where that's gone. You're going to need the Arctic Alpine M1 cooler for the first thing. Um, you're going to need some screwdrivers and stuff, which are in a box down here, so I'm not going to get them out. Um, and then I don't really use them in the video. Um, probably some sort of anti-static stuff to clean off the um, some cloths to clean off the old. Um, Leftover thermal paste. These live by my bed anyway. It's a bit weird. I don't know why they live there. Let's put them back. Um, and that should be about it, really. Um, and also, as well, since I've installed this cooler, I did upgrade the stock fan. There's the sort of stock slim fan um, with the black and white version of this, the non-PST Arctic F8 fan. Um, and then since installing that, I've been able to get a really nice, quiet, cool, stable 2.5. 0.3 maybe gigs overclock either way 23% I've got a 23% overclock out of this processor and it's cost me under 20 pounds to do it so watch that video that's coming next right let's get this cooler installed so here we are in for a closer look ready to get the um, new CPU cooler installed we need to remove the old one I will zoom in a little bit in a minute just a few things make sure all the power is disconnected Good practice to be on an anti-static mat. I know I never have in my other videos, but it's getting drummed into me at the moment that I should. Um, I've been lazy, so I'm doing it. Um, remove the RAM, just everything. We'll remove that little power in a minute. Just everything's out. That ends just the power switch, so I can flick it all back on quite quick. That will be all right, sort of left in. Um, and an anti-static wrist strap to make sure you're well grounded. And I'm not being an idiot trying to earth myself with some tape. I've cut myself not getting this out of the box. Getting this out. So there we go. All the injuries I take to make YouTube videos. So, let's get in for a closer look. First, we need to remove the CPU cooler, which is pretty easy on this one. Just pulled it. You probably installed this yourself anyway, because there's not a lot of AM1 sort of computers sold. So you just take out the two two pins if you have any issues with this if you have bought the computer off like ebay or something and it's already set up um please go to my channel because i've got a video installing this anyway so um you'll be able to see, to see that and see look it's already popped out anyway and then we'll just pop the other one out here and should have took the power out first that would have been good practice but the cpu power but we've got no power in there so it's fine um and as you can see there is residue as i said there would be so we need to get that off. Now, I showed you earlier, I got the isopropyl bottle, 99%. Don't spray it on the bloody computer. Don't be stupid. And spray a little bit on a cloth. I'm just going to try wipe, how, um, wiping this off on the wall, but I'm going to spray a little bit of cloth on the cloth off camera. Um, and you should probably be wearing gloves for this as well, this alcohol. I'm just going to be really careful not to get too much of it on my hands. And I've got it all over my hands, so that might burn in a bit. But there we go. I've got a little bit sprayed on that, and I'm going to try and remove some of this residue. Oh, that smells good. Oh, look at that. That's coming straight off. These are going to be really easy to do anyway. But I am doing a sort of i5, i7 build beginning of next year. So we will cover sort of how to... Um, do a lot of things with thermal paste installing and stuff. Everyone's got their own little way. So, and as you can see, this cooler, just about to show you, has got its own thermal paste. Now, the AM1 platform on these motherboards, um, I don't know if it's um, just across the board, but on these, these motherboards, they don't have a back plate. Um, this makes it very quite tricky to. Um, get the fan installed in one go um so this might look a bit dodgy on camera uh just take your patience if you're doing the install yourself as you can see here there's two these are the two included sticker washers that you stick on now the method i'm deciding to go for is i'm just going to do one screw and just get it sort of fixed and line the other one up um because holding both at the same time with the fans very difficult i know where i need the cable to be there coming on that far corner so I'm just going to, I don't know if you can see this, I'm just sort of lining that up and I'm just going to give it like a tiny, tiny turn. 
and that is it. I'm just going to give it that one little turn so it's in place. Um, and then I'll just take yourself a good little look down. It does completely cover it. You can see if you're in light, I'm not going to be able to get it in on camera, but you can see that it's making contact with the chip. So then just come across and, again, quite hard to see there. Just get your other screw into position. I'll be able to give you a better look in a minute anyway. And there we see, there you can go see it's held. And then you can actually screw the fan into position. Now with these, you don't want to go too tight. Almost, you want to go sort of a turn or two less than what you think you should go. And sort of evenly do it. So don't go too far on one. And it's just just till it bites don't over tighten it that's it when it's when it bites that's it perfect fine right and there it is installed and all in place so let's just get this powered up so it's all powered up running now um you may be hearing some fan noise in the background but that's um a sort of custom laptop cooler that i built which i'm going to show in another youtube video um and a few other bits and bobs kicking off but honestly from that fan you can hear nothing like the the amd included cooler is fine it's pretty quiet it's just got a little word to it but from that um i'm really not hearing anything at the moment um, we'll have a look once it's under load, under load and I've done a few tests but it's just going to look so much better in a case than that um, and it's just going to perform better. There's no issue with heat with this included fan anyway because the CPU is such a low TDP but um, for a £10 upgrade I recommend this all the way. So I'm sorry it was a bit hard to see in the video how to install it but I hope this helps you out um, and if you want a cooler for your um, AM1 platform I'd say this Arctic one is the way to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.